Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor, previously on Wind Waker. We, um, we got further in, well that was cool. We got further, um, on into, um, Dragon Roost Cavern. Ooh, more stuff. How am I doing on that? Wait, wrong thing. Okay, eight. Um. Previously, we got further into um, Dragon Roost Cavern, and um. Yeah. And then we ended up in this room. Where we had to kill enemies. Whoa. I mean, I've noticed it before, but it's just really cool how Link has, like, sparks on his shoes when you spin around. When he does a spin attack. Huh. I wonder if Nintendo actually made those pots not break when they fall off the shelf. Just to make you think think that they, um, they're not enemies. Oh boy, this room. That thing over there, it's not called Moldorm. Whatever that thing is. Whoa, I had m a much better time dealing with that thing than I did before, a long time ago. Uh... Hope I can go back over there. Yeah, I can. Perfect. Um, now, when I first played Wind Waker, it took me forever to um, get that um, thing defeated, whatever that bug-like creature was. It took me a long time because I didn't understand how you were supposed to do it. What happened is I thought you were supposed to push it into the lava. Maybe? I don't remember exactly. And, um... Uh, oh, I, for a second there I kind of got scared because the last time I saw this room it was in, um... PBG's, uh, Wind Waker Chaos Edition series so I just got like really scared if you've seen that you would know what you would understand why but anyway that thing I thought was um oops I thought you um had to all right what I kept doing is I kept getting it um Oh, there's a warp pot. Nice. If you need to get back here, you can just jump in that and then call it a day, I guess. Um, or whatever. Uh, whoops. But yeah, I thought that worm creature thing was, um, I couldn't open the door with it. Hmm. Um... Well, I kept pushing it into the lava, and it just didn't die. So, yeah. I mean, I understand that since it's a lava creature, you don't put it back into the lava, and I should have known that that's how it works. Because I've played Mario Galaxy and Galaxy 2. In fact, I got uh, Galaxy 2 as a birthday present. Um, or no, Christmas? Yeah, Christmas present. And, um, oh, here's green book hoblins. Um, they're not too difficult, but as we will soon see, there's tougher enemies, moblins. Finally, I can defeat you, unless I've already defeated you before. I don't know, might as well grab these. Oops. 
Um. But yeah, I mean. Uh, oh, Moblin's defeating. That looks so painful. Ouch. Oh, and Medley is free. But I'm gonna break this first to grab stuff. Like, um, a heart. Ooh, new item. You got a skull necklace. You can keep it in your spoils bag. Um, this rather off-putting accessory would appear to be of little value. But shown to the right person, it's apparently of great worth. We want to collect a lot of these. Link, you came to rescue me. Oh, thank you. I have to tell you what I found out. This is terrible. Some creature is doing awful things to the great Falu's tail. That's why he's so angry. You wouldn't say. The great Falu's tail hangs down into the room right below here. There's got to be something in here. In there. I wonder if those mean monsters who captured me have something to do with it. Probably. We've got to do something now before it's too late. I'll go ahead and tell everybody what's happening. I thought you didn't want anybody to know what you're doing. Here, Link. Use this to get out of here. It's what I used to get this far, but you can fly. How are you going to get back out? Oh, she can probably just kind of float down a little. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. I hope she can float back down then. It's a device we Rito used before we evolved wings. You mean Nintendo gave them to you? I guess. You got the grappling hook! This was an item used by the Rito people before they had wings. Set it to Y, Z, or X on the item screen, then press that button to aim. Use this item to latch on anything with a bang on it. You can even use it to haul things up from the sea floor while on your boat. Here, Link, climb up on that little ledge over there so I can show you something. Okay. Oh, wait. She just kind of flies up. Um, is there anything in here? Anyway, I played uh, Mario Galaxy uh, 1 and 2. Well, probably at least 2 before I got this game. I don't really remember when I got 1. Grab this branch with a grappling hook and you can swing over there to get out of this area. Wait, so you're saying I can do that? So that's how we do it. Um, can I just do this? So because I had um, Mario Galaxy, yeah I can. Speedrunning tactic, I'm sure. Um, actually, I'm just gonna run over here. Um, so... Uh, okay. So I'm pretty familiar with how, um... Uh, there we go. Yeah, that's a... Definitely a speedrunning tactic right there. I hope speedrunners use that. And I'm pretty sure they do. You know that people have figured out everything like like that. That's probably a speedrunning tactic. Now where do we go? <laughs> um, oh, that's too far away. Um, I'm sure that we go this way. Um, in Mario Galaxy, there's these things that are like small and they burn, like embers or whatever. And... Um, can't remember. They're like on freeze burn galaxy or something. Frost burn. Is it frost burn galaxy? I can't remember. Oops. Anyway, um, yeah, and if you kind of just push those back in the lava, they kind of jump back out and then start flying around again. So yeah, don't do that. 
We can go down to the bottom area without cutting anything. I'm gonna try that. There's something down here. Whoops. Hmm. I'll try to get down there and see if I can do it. Whoa, um, looks like the Bokoblin got, um, like, separated from the bridge. Okay. Huh. I did it! Nice! I mean, if I... Um... I... I'll meet you back there. Oops. Okay, well, oh, I, in Wind Waker, or Zelda games generally, every time you go out a door, it resets your uh, respawn position to the last door that you entered or exited. Please bring that back down. Thank you. Yeah, I guess we have to go to this side. This is probably that thing that, like, no. That, like, whenever... Ah, so you do have to defeat the book hoblins to get that chest. I don't know what's inside it, so it's probably important, but probably not important. Who hearts? Uh, I'm just gonna be lazy and cut these. Um. Oh, joy pendant. Okay, we can get that item faster now then. Um, oh, another item with, uh, uh, or another thing that the, um, something that the, I don't think the game really tells you about this, but, uh-oh. So I not only got burned on the lava, I also burned in the lava, hmm. Uh, something else that I don't think the game really tells you about, um, is how you can use, um, the grappling hook to, um, to steal items from enemies. Oh, we can't go out there yet. We actually have to go over here. Pull down this, um, thing. Lever thing. Which pulls something down. And I keep swinging. Oop. Green screen. I guess that would be a green screen of death. Um. Oops. Didn't know it wasn't there. Uh, you can actually steal items from enemies. Sometimes. Like if they have 
If they're an enemy that has something on them. Oh, I guess I have to wait now. Be right back. Oh, oh, there we go. Um, didn't know that could happen. Oh, there's the beginning. Uh, okay. I'll go back up there. Okay, that's good. We can just kind of go out here now. Um, am I missing anything? There is a chest back there that I gotta go grab. Um, it's something that I had not noticed before. No, when you're swinging on these, you want to push R. No, 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 no. R. Move around. And then... I need more room. And then you can go up and down. Um, use tilting up or down on the control stick to crawl up or down the uh, makeshift ladder. And then the rope, I mean. And then get, you can get yourself lined up horizontally. So yeah, horizontal and vertical tracking. Just like old fashioned TVs pretty much. And then you get yourself lined up and then you lean forward and backward to get enough um, momentum to go forward. Okay, so what's in here? Oh my. Okay. Hmm. So y you want to do that, and then you want to, um... Oh wait, you don't want to kill them. Ugh. I forgot. Because what happens if you don't- if you do kill them, they respawn. But there's something that- in that chest that we want. Oh no. Wait. Oh no, you, it's, you, you're not fast enough. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, crawl back out. Can I use this, that thing I just broke to put on the switch? No, uh... Come on. Why am I standing on its thing? Claws. Okay, there we go. It... <laughs> Didn't mean to do that either. Why is that so slippery? Shouldn't be slippery. Okay, let's try it again. But it just had not been working for me. I just kept like, yep. Yeah. Why does this only not work sometimes? Hmm. Weird. But anyway, you do that. Then they go into a ball. And then you... Set them down with R. I'm gonna die from this, aren't I? Oops. So, that's probably the first time I've ever gotten a game over since, um, no. 
yeah, I want to keep playing, please. <sighs> That's the, uh, well, might as well start this episode over, I guess. I think I might keep this as a bonus episode. But, as you can see, I failed. So I'm going to try it again. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go to that room. In the next episode, I'm just going to go to that room. Just keep playing. Or just start recording again. Goodbye for now. I don't think I've ever done this before. I might have. I'm just gonna defeat you. Splash water on your corpse, I guess. Hmm. There we go. That was pretty easy. Might as well get the joy pendants. Uh, one rupee up there. We don't need it. I don't care. Wait. Hmm. Where do I need to go? Hmm. Gotta make sure that, or check to see what's out here. Make sure I don't have to go this way. Okay, yeah, I've gotta jump in that warp pot. Here's what a warp pot does to Link. Um, if he'll jump in there. I don't even remember where I have to go. Do I have to go over here? I think I do. Um, oh yeah, right. To go into first person. Still used to um, that other game. We have to clear out this room again. I would have introduced myself earlier. I mean, well, I mean, I'm already at the place that we would be doing, I would be doing my introductions anyway. So, um, hello everybody, 